So let's get right down to the meat of the issue here. How would you like to have a couple of techniques, little voice mastery techniques, to control that chatter between your ears so that when it comes up, you're in control rather than letting it control you? First thing you gotta remember, by the way, that little voice, like I said, is not necessarily you. It's a composite of all these other influences in your life, and you can disassociate yourself from it. So I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you one technique right here you're gonna like. If you've ever watched sports, have you ever watched sports? Have you ever played sports? Good, so let me ask you this. If you played sports or watched it, when someone scores a goal or does something good, instinctively, what do the players do? That's right, they celebrate. Head butts, high fives, you know, chest butts, whatever the case might be. The reason is, is that's called anchoring a win or, or what we call celebrating all wins. Probably one of the simplest, most powerful little voice techniques possible. So I'm going to ask you to do something right now just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. If you've got somebody else with you, this will be really good. If not, if you don't, pause for a second, bring somebody so they can do this with you. Go ahead, I'll wait. Come on, go get somebody else. Okay, good. All right, good. So now you got somebody else sitting there. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to do something that maybe your little voice doesn't like. Maybe your little voice is going to think, oh, that's too childish. Or if you're overseas from another country, oh, that's so American, or whatever the case might be. Just tell your little voice to shut up and do it anyway, okay? Here we go. I want you to turn to that person next to you, give them a high five, and tell them they're awesome. Ready? Go. You're awesome. Come on, do it. Now, if you're by yourself, nobody's there, take your right hand, make a fist, and say, I'm awesome. Come on, do it. Nobody's watching. Good. Thank you. Excellent. Now, let me just ask you a question. When you gave the high five, what happened to the level of energy in you and around you? Did it go up or down? Of course, it went up. And my other question to you is, how long did that take? Seconds. Seconds. Look, the distance between you and where you want to go is not years away, it's seconds away. I, we do programs where I teach people sales and we do entrepreneurship and presentation. I've had people generate $35,000 in sales in 10 minutes. One individual alone did $22,000 of sales in his business by talking to his company, his team on the phone, $22,000 worth of business in five hours, which is more than they do in an entire month. Now you're thinking to yourself, your little voice is now going, well, how is that possible? It's possible be when you understand how to get the little voices out of the way by using some of these techniques. Let me give you another couple examples here. So, from now on, by the way, celebrate all wins. Whenever you get a win, whenever somebody else gets a win, high five them, uh, say, anchor it with a fist and say yes. Probably the most important thing you can do because the energy goes which way? Up or down? That's right, it goes up. And remember, I just said a little while ago, two people come together, highest energy wins. And if you're in business, and you're in a relationship, you know that 99% of the battle is sometimes getting yourself in the right energy state to be able to handle the challenge at hand. So celebrate all wins, okay? Give yourself another high five or give the person next to you a high five, say you're awesome. All right, good. Let's cover a couple more real quickly here. One of the big problems that happens is sometimes we get in, in, into a high emotional state. You know, now, there's a problem with high emotion. When your emotion is high, what's low? Your intelligence is low. That's right. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you probably said something when you were really upset and then regretted it 10 seconds later? Have you ever done that at home? Of course we have. So, again, you have to have little voice techniques to control that a little bit. Little voice techniques like, how do I want to feel right now? how to handle an objection properly so that I can stay present, how to be able to shift my mood level instantly so that I'm not affected by those things that are around me. As a matter of fact, we will be talking about some of these other techniques about how to, restain, how to retain your authenticity, how to retain your control of a situation no matter what your emotions are doing. So stay tuned for more of that.